Welcome back to Be Terrific's live continuing coverage of CES 2015. I'm Michael Artsis, thanks so much for joining us. We are here at the Las Vegas Convention Center at the Consumer Electronics Show. It is unbelievable. We've got Ryan Kane from Higher here. You guys make great televisions. For a little while you were the official television of the NBA and you've been in America for, I'd say about seven years now, five to seven years? Actually, uh, Hire came to America in, uh, in 1999. Wow, okay, so, so it's, it's been, been a lot longer years. than I realized. Yes, it has. Time flies. Yes. I, but I remember when you guys came here, and now you guys have, have really come into your own. You're in the front of the CES hall, um, right. and uh, you've got, uh, I mean, you've got so much going on. Your, your TVs, first of all, are beautiful. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, this is really a continuation of a coming out party for Higher America. Um, again, we've been in the U.S. for 15 years, but recently with changes in, in our management and our headquarters facility, adding R&D facilities in the U.S. marketplace, wow. specific to the U.S. marketplace, really takes a different tone in terms of how we're coming to market and being very focused on the American consumer in the North American market. I, I think it's terrific. You know, one thing I like about your sets are that they are, I guess I call them sets. Do people call them sets anymore? That's what we I used to call them. I think TVs, TV sets, LCDs, you name screens, it. Yeah, screens, whatever you want to call them. That's right. Okay, so I think one thing about the sets is that they're, they're very affordable and they're great quality. Yes. And so usually you get affordable means low quality, but in this case, affordability means, you, so the value is great. Is that, really is, that is correct. And I, I think that's one of the big things that will help us at this show. I think it helped us last year, but now being front and center, it really puts a different light on higher and, and the picture quality, like you say. You can walk through our booth, uh, through the curved TV displays, uh, through the long rows of TV displays that we have, and you see a very high quality picture, but really at a very value-driven price segment in the industry. Where are you guys um, going in the future? I know you just added Roku, uh, integration uh -huh. into the TVs, which I think are gr is great because then you don't have to have the separate box and the whole deal. And so connecting these TVs makes a lot of sense. Right. Yeah, yeah I, I think as time goes on, whether it's in TVs, whether it's in appliances, I think connectivity throughout the home is something we're continuing to explore. And also, I, I think what's very important is you have to understand and find out what the consumer really wants in connectivity in the home and it's not just innovation for innovation's sake, it's understanding and meeting consumer needs, and then be able to go out and collect on that in the marketplace. Is, is home automation exciting to you? Because it's exciting to me. I, I've, I, I've known of high-end home automation for years, uh, systems like Questron, which are phenomenal, and yeah. um, is even Lutron, right? Um, and then uh, it started to creep down a little bit with Control 4, but it was still high-end, and now we're seeing uh, regular consumers be able to put in home automation in different levels and different ways, shapes, and forms, and the TV is now playing a huge part in that too. I, I think it's going to, and it's going to continue to play a huge part of that. And I think we're just at the beginning. I, when you think of home automation uh, and where the industry can go and will go, and there's going to be a tipping point where the consumer is going to really jump in with both feet. I don't think they're completely there yet because they don't. Con completely understand it, and they don't completely understand the application in their everyday right. life. Right, there needs to be a lot of education Absolutely. still. And, Absolutely, And they certainly don't understand how to install it, even the most basic right. stuff. Um, something that's interesting is I've wanted, you know, for years I wanted to go smaller screen, smaller screen, smaller screen. I got an iPhone 6 Plus now, and I thought, oh, it's too big, uh, but the battery life is great, so I'll stick with this. And I love the bigger screen. Yeah. And in the last few years, I've, I've really wanted to airplay my computer to uh, my TV so that I could work in bed and see a real screen. Sure. Or I, even at my Absolutely. desk, I want to mount a huge screen Absolutely. and airplay. And so, because I guess when you get older, your eyes really do get worse. I didn't believe that for I you. I can attest to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, I think we're going to see a lot of uh, TVs being used for other applications that we didn't necessarily expect them to be used for. Today. I agree 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And, th and then you guys will play a huge part in that. There's no doubt. I mean, we feel like, because we are, we are focused on consumer lifestyles, right. and we're focused on consumer needs. And we're also focused on, we're one of the few companies in the industry with appliances and electronics where we're actually 
folding that together as one organization and one voice to the marketplace. Well, and that's what I was going to say, you guys also make a lot of appliances. Absolutely. Talk, talk about the appliances and some of the innovations you have with these appliances. Absolutely, some of the things here, for example, at the show, we talk about some new te technology you've seen in wine and wine preservation. Uh, some uh, dual pump, heat pump technology in wine that keep, that's basically keeps it vibration less, period. So we've got a wine cooler that has got heat and cool to keep the temperature regulated perfectly yep. and, and, and keep the vibration out. Correct. Um, which which is means I, the, <laughs> the wine experience, the experience to the wine connoisseur is no vibration, perfect temperature, perfect experience with the wine. That's amazing, and you know what seems uh, like this is a perfect fit is timing-wise, because I know guys like the Wine Library uh, are blowing up, and not only blowing up, but they're introducing wine to a whole new segment of the market that didn't get it before because they felt it was <clears throat> it was too snooty. Right. And so, they've been introduced to a whole new market, which means that there are a whole new bunch of people that maybe they don't want to swirl their glass like this, right. but they definitely want their wine to be the best it can be. That's exactly right. Well, and, and wine connoisseurs and wine users have stretched now. It used to be the 50, 55 year old, like my age, but now, like my daughter at 28, 29 years old, they enjoy wine just as much as my wife and I enjoy right. wine. And so the needs at different levels in life and different areas of life uh, have really grown that marketplace. Excellent, uh, and what other appliances do you guys have that you're showing off here? We have full-size refrigeration. We actually have a very unique, what we call small space living, which is urban markets, people have paid an exorbitant amount of money for their living space, but they've had to, to actually compromise on appliances. Sure. We are showing a fully integrated look, feel, fit, finish, uh, a full kitchen of appliances that are smaller in nature, but really target the mass premium market. Rick Moranis would be really happy. Honey, I shrunk the appliances. Yeah, there you go. That's and it. I mean, in New York and in metropolitan yeah, areas, absolutely. it's more important than ever, but I think that there are a lot of places where people are looking to save space, especially get more counter space, stuff like that. Absolutely. And so I, I think that's pretty cool yeah. and very interesting. Um, and then you guys have uh, bigger appliances too. And what's amazing is, again, keeping the costs reasonable, giving great value, because I didn't realize until a couple years ago, uh, when I went refrigerator shopping, how much a refrigerator cost. I think when I was a kid, every ref refrigerator was like a, a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. And then yeah. You, you walk into the store and you want this shiny silver thing and it's you know $15,000. Yeah, absolutely. The, the marketplace has changed. It, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's a bit of, of a stretch in terms of those value-oriented refrigerators are still there in the marketplace, but certainly there's been a lot of value added in large size refrigeration, French door refrigerators, et cetera that get up into that $2,500, $3,000, $3,500, and then you get to the built-in refrigeration, <laughs> the fully integrated stuff, and then you're talking the, the multi-thousand dollars. I couldn't believe it when I walked yeah. into the store. Yeah. Uh, I was like, really? Yeah. I mean, that's a car. Yep. You could have a car for, for that refrigerator. That's exactly right. Well, and when you think about it, though, you think about the consumer's home, yeah. and you think about where they spend the majority of their time, and there's two areas of the home they spend the majority <laughs> of their time when they're not sleeping. The kitchen? The kitchen and the entertainment area. Yeah. So when you think of entertainment, we package wine, ice and beverage dispensers, uh, ice makers, LCD TVs, sound bars, all of that in one environment becomes a higher environment in the home. Pretty smart, I like it. Now, t Ryan, tell me about how you got involved with Hire and, and what your career's been like. What, I'm sorry? What your career has been like? Well, my career has been in the appliance industry. I, I came up to the appliance industry with Maytag, yeah. right out of college. Uh, didn't know who they were, but stayed with them for 19 years. Wait a minute, years. how could you say I don't know who I, they were? They run I, a million commercials with never, the Maytag. Never right? used the washing machine, so I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I had a great career with them. Did you always want to be in electronics and appliances and stuff uh, when you were in college? I, I wanted to be in sales and marketing. That's mm -hmm. what I knew I wanted. And uh, I wanted to associate my name with either a great brand or get with a brand that I could help develop that into a great brand. And so with Maytag was a great brand. Hire is a fantastic brand globally. It's just still relatively new in the US, but we're going to continue to build that brand. But I think the most important part of my background, frankly, has been on the retail side. I've had about 13 years of experience on the retail side in the US marketplace. That's given me a different perspective on the wants and needs of the actual end user. 
that sometimes you don't get when you're at the manufacturer level? Right, no, absolutely, absolutely. And I yeah. think it's an interesting career that you've had uh, two great companies, right? And uh, Maytag and, and Hire. Absolutely. And, uh, and you've done remarkable with Hire. I mean, what, what you guys have done, breaking into this market uh, is, is so hard. I mean, anybody who would even come to CES would know that. Absolutely. Um, you don't even have to come to CES to know that, but yeah. breaking in and breaking through with all the competition, and you guys have done it, and again, you make really good products at really good value. Yep, thank pricing. you. I, so. I, I agree with you 100%, obviously. Ryan, thank you so much for joining you us. You bet. I really thank appreciate you. it. No problem. That's Ryan Kane from Hire. Check them out. They make great TVs, they have great appliances, and it's all great value. So, you got to check them out. I'm Michael Artsis. We'll be back with a whole lot more live here from CES in just a few moments. Stay with us.